Imagine you're deep in a dense jungle on a faraway island. The air is heavy, and every breath feels tough. As you move forward, you suddenly see something unusual, a small, dark cave, so well hidden it feels like someone tried to hide it. When you go closer, you notice strange markings on the walls and tiny footprints leading into the cave's darkness. A question pops into your mind. What is this? Could this cave hold a secret that could change human history forever? And the biggest question, could the Hobbit humans still be alive today? Let's find out. Let me take you back to 2003, when archaeologists made a discovery that shook the scientific world to its core. On the island of Flores in Indonesia, a team of researchers was excavating a limestone cave known as Langbua. They weren't expecting to find much, just some animal bones, maybe some traces of early human activity. But what they found was beyond their wildest imagination. Buried under layers of sediment were the skeletal remains of a creature that defied all logic. At first glance, it looked human. It had arms, legs, and a skull. But something was off. This skeleton stood barely three feet tall. Its skull was smaller than an orange less than half the size of a modern human's. And while it looked somewhat human, it was clear that this wasn't an ordinary person. The researchers named this new species Homo floresiensis, but it quickly became known by a more familiar name, the Hobbit. And no, this wasn't a fantasy story from Middle Earth. This was real life. These were tiny humans that once walked the Earth. Now, this becomes even more shocking. Scientists initially believed that this was an ancient species that had gone extinct hundreds of thousands of years ago. However, analysis revealed that these hobbits were alive up until around 50,000 years ago. Imagine that by that time, modern humans, Homo sapiens, had already reached parts of Asia and Australia, and some settlements were beginning to form. Yet, during this same era, this small human species was surviving in isolation on a remote island, adapting uniquely to its environment. So, who were these hobbits? How did they end up on Flores? And why were they so small? Scientists have spent years trying to answer these questions, and what they've uncovered is as mind-blowing as it is mysterious. First, let's talk about their size. At just three feet tall, Homo floresiensis was one of the smallest human species ever discovered. But why were they so tiny? Researchers believe it was due to a phenomenon called island dwarfism. When animals are isolated on islands with limited resources, they often evolve to be smaller in size to survive. This explains why Flores is also home to other miniature species, like the pygmy elephant. But the hobbits weren't just small. They were also incredibly unique. Their brains were tiny about a third the size of ours, but they were still intelligent. Evidence suggests they used stone tools, hunted animals, and may have even controlled fire. In other words, they weren't primitive brutes. They were capable, resourceful, and adapted to their environment in ways that modern humans might struggle to comprehend. And then, suddenly, they were gone. The remains found in Liangbua suggest that Homo floresiensis disappeared around 12,000 years ago. But why? What happened to them? This is where the story takes an even darker turn. Some scientists believe they were wiped out by a volcanic eruption that devastated the island. Others think they were outcompeted by modern humans, who are also starting to settle in the region. But there's another theory one that's far more intriguing. What if they didn't disappear at all? What if they're still alive, hiding in the remote jungles of Flores? This might sound like a wild conspiracy, but hear me out. The indigenous people of Flores have long told stories about a mysterious race of small, human-like creatures called the Ibu Gogo. According to legend, the Ibu Gogo were about three feet tall, covered in hair, and could mimic human speech. They were said to be clever, but mischievous, often stealing food from villages or even snatching livestock. The stories claim that villagers eventually drove the Ibu Gogo into extinction, but not before some escaped into the deepest parts of the jungle. Here's the thing. The descriptions of the Ibu Gogo sound eerily similar to Homo floresiensis. 
Could these legends be based on real encounters with the hobbits? Many scientists think so. The parallels are just too strong to ignore. And then there's the evidence. Over the years, there have been numerous reports of small, human-like footprints found deep in the jungles of Flores. These footprints don't match any known animal species, nor do they resemble those of modern humans. In some cases, the prints appear fresh, as if whatever made them had passed through just hours earlier. There have also been sightings. Villagers and explorers alike have reported glimpses of small, human-like figures moving through the trees. Some describe hearing strange noises at night whispers, rustling leaves, and the occasional faint laughter. Could these be surviving members of Homo floresiensis? Let's not forget. The natural world is full of surprises. Time and time again, scientists have rediscovered species thought to be extinct. The coelacanth, for example, was believed to have disappeared 65 million years ago, only to be found alive in 1938. The Komodo dragon, another unique species from Indonesia, was unknown to the outside world until the early 20th century. If creatures like these can evade detection for centuries, why not the hobbits? But if Homo floresiensis is still alive, why haven't we found definitive proof? The answer lies in the island itself. Flores is a rugged, isolated place with dense jungles and countless caves. Many areas are nearly impossible to access, even with modern technology. It's entirely possible that a small population of hobbits could survive there, hidden from human eyes. Of course, not everyone agrees with this theory. Skeptics argue that the Ibu Gogo stories are just myths and that the sightings and footprints are cases of mistaken identity. But until we explore every corner of Flores and beyond, we can't say for sure. And this brings us to the ultimate question. What would it mean if we did find living hobbits? The implications would be staggering. They would represent a living branch of our evolutionary tree, a species that diverged from modern humans tens of thousands of years ago, but managed to survive in isolation. They could provide invaluable insights into human evolution, intelligence, and survival. But there's also a moral dilemma. Throughout history, whenever modern humans have encountered other species of humans, the results have been catastrophic. Neanderthals, for example, were driven to extinction, likely due to competition with Homo sapiens. If Homo floresiensis is still alive, what would happen to them if they were discovered by modern civilization? Would we study them? Protect them? Exploit them? These are questions we must consider carefully. As of now, the search continues. Researchers are using drones, thermal imaging, and even artificial intelligence to scan the jungles and caves of Flores. Every footprint, every whisper in the night, brings us one step closer to the truth. Are the hobbits still out there, watching us from the shadows? Or are they just a fleeting memory of a time long gone? The truth is out there, waiting to be uncovered. And who knows? The next great discovery might be just around the corner. So what do you think? Could Homo floresiensis still be alive today? Or is this just another unsolved mystery of the past? One thing's for sure. The story of the Hobbit humans is far from over. Stay curious and don't forget to subscribe for more incredible discoveries and mysteries. Because the answers we're searching for might just change everything we thought we knew.